My name is Iris Papagiorgio. I'm a professor of obstetrics and fetal medicine at the University of Oxford, and I split my time with St. George's Hospital, where I work clinically. This system is a GE Swift ultrasound machine, and it's enabled with a Sonolist software, which is a collaboration between Intelligent Ultrasound and GE. The software allows automated recognition of standard imaging planes. So we look at all the standard imaging planes within the ISWOC um, anatomy protocol. And it recognizes the standard plane, but also goes a step further. It analyzes the quality criteria within each image. The aim of this AI algorithm that sits on this GE uh, machine is to do two things. The first thing it does, it ticks off automatically all the images that are required within a protocol. So as you do your ultrasound scan, it will tick off that it's seen the head, it's seen the lips, it's seen the kidneys, and so on. The second thing is that it recognizes the quality of the images by assessing standard image based criteria. So in the abdomen, for example, it will look that the stomach is visible, that the umbilical vein is a third of the way along inside the abdomen, uh, that you have a nice circular abdomen, and so on and so forth. So not only is it looking at the completeness of the record, but it's also making sure that the images that you're, you, you're acquiring are fit for purpose. And they're fit for purpose for your imaging record, but also in the case of sonographers, uh, for the reporting radiologist. So the way that the Sonolist works, it's, it's an AI algorithm, an artificially intelligent algorithm, and it works by a process called uh, deep learning. What that involves is you show a computer thousands and thousands and thousands of ultrasound images. And these ultrasound images have been really carefully curated by clinicians, by a pool of really expert sonographers. And on each image, they have said, this is what the image is, and these are the imaging characteristics that you see. And by looking at these thousands of images, the computers learn, essentially, what you and I learn when we, uh, when, when we first do ultrasound. So uh, after having been trained on, on a large number of, of images, it'll be able to, for instance, tell the difference between uh, the transventricular view in the head and the transthalamic view in the head. Although these are quite similar in appearance, having seen enough of those pictures is able to do image recognition and say, no, it's this rather than that. So I think the system can be valuable uh, at different levels. Perhaps if you think about a, an obstetrician who may not scan every single day, uh, may value the assistance. On the other extreme, an obstetrician who's really, really busy may also value it because it allows them to ensure they haven't forgotten anything. Uh, as a departmental lead, I think you'll also find it valuable because uh, you've got a handle, uh, a little bit more of a handle on what goes on within the department in terms of the quality of the imaging output. If you're a reporting uh, radiologist, you may find it less likely that there's a, a, an image uh, that you need for your reporting that's not there. Uh, and that translates into a uh, lower likelihood of having to recall the patient. I and my team have been testing the system in clinical practice and, uh, you know, one of the most gratifying things is it really works. So, you know, when, when you're doing an ultrasound scan, it will recognize the image, it will uh, categorize it correctly and certainly on more than one occasion has reminded uh, sonographers that perhaps something that wasn't supposed to have been imaged hadn't been. And in, from that perspective alone, it's a, a really useful tool.